Hey Scorpio, welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. I'm sorry for the delay in your reading. I have went through some bad allergies. I'm not even going to lie. I ain't want to be on your reading out here bogus, you know. <laughs> so um, today we're delving into your energy read, okay? This can play out past, present, or future. So take it how it resonates, if it resonates for you, okay? Remember, you can always check out my playlist for additional collective reads, all right? Um... I do want to say thank you, though, for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings, support any kind to the brand, as well as the channel is greatly appreciated. And remember, any and everything I got to do myself or the channel is down below in the description box. OK, so let's go ahead and delve into Scorpio's energy. What's going on with Scorpio for this energy check spirit, please? And thank you. Ten of Pentacles, old money the pursuit of finances i feel like many have tried with the knight of cups here somebody trying to pursue you financially ain't gonna be waiting the devil you got somebody um seven of swords somebody sneaky as hell around you scorpio and it's like they trying to pursue you to get on your good side so that they could see where you get your finances from. Where is your finances with the Empress? What is your source of finances with the four of wands? Where you live at? What's your, I don't like this person. Scorpio, like, have you been dealing with somebody new? If you dealing with somebody new, run. I do not like this energy. This is a user. They want to know where you work at. They want to know all types. Look, this you, this the person coming in your house. Like, oh, where you get all this stuff from? Where you get all this money? Look, one of your damn pinnacles on a dress. I just want you to be aware, um, Scorpio. You coming in in a masculine energy or a feminine uh, I want to say that this person, because you can shift between masculine and feminine energies, okay? We have yin and yang within us, right? Yin being that of feminine, yang being that of masculine, right? But there's an energy, okay, when this person first came in, all right, I feel like they were in a masculine energy because they were trying to pursue you. This could have been somebody you even dealt with before, okay? This could have been somebody that had you waiting, Scorpio. If you wanted to deal with somebody and then they just come back around, don't trust they ass, okay? Because that's what I'm getting. Even if this is a newer energy, even if it's just somebody that you just came across, okay? I'm getting two scenarios here, right? Somebody you already dealt with that comes back around or someone that is new and they, man, they in all about your house. They're in all about you know, you, they want to crack the code. How is Scorpio getting all this stability with the hair fine here? They may even want to attach themselves to you. They, this is somebody that wants to get, be in a relationship with you right through the door. They trying to, you know, cuff you right up. Cuffing season. That's what this is. It's getting cold out. At least where I'm at is about to start getting cold, so. Cuffing season, tax is about to start coming out. Be mindful, okay? Star card. You the apple of somebody's eye. They looking at you. You looking real good right now, Scorpio. But they looking at you with a greedy eye. They like, what can Scorpio offer me? Yeah, with the will of fortune. I feel like things are going to go in your favor. You know? Damn, they going to go in your favor because you going to choose to not deal with this person. I feel like you mourning the loss of someone. And I don't feel like it's a loss, like a death. Some of you all, it could be a death, okay? My condolences if it is. Others of you all, it's just an ending of a relationship. It's an ending of a relationship with somebody that you really cared about, somebody that you really loved. And quite frankly, that may really be the reason why you're not even all the way in with this person. You know, they thinking they tricking you and shit. Like, you just the fool. Look, how this person trying to sneak and get this other person? Thinking shit sweet. This person thinks shit sweet. This is somebody in your energy, Scorpio, that thinks something sweet. That they could, like, pull a wool over your eyes and find, uh, and benefit off your finances. Okay? I'm going to be direct with you. Here we had a high priestess, but you know already. 
some part of you is undergone like a spiritual transformation, mind, body, and soul. That's what I see. And it's just like, ain't nobody finna get you. You like, ain't nobody finna get me. It's cool. You know, that's what I'm getting. Like, ain't nobody finna get me. So, the sun card, happiness, six of wands. You like, you're going towards happiness, okay? And I feel like you really have... um idea like what you're looking for in a relationship okay with the emperor card you really focused on your finances okay you really focused on this narrative i, I don't want to say it like it's a narrative like it's not true you know because it is but it's like you're focused on happiness and things that are accompanied with that Okay, you're going into this time period where you're tired of feeling lost and sadness, you know, being bottled up, stuck in the house, don't want to go out, don't want to deal with anyone. I feel like you definitely out and about more, you know, could be dealing with a fellow water sign, could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, I see Aries here. Yeah, it could be Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, a lot of wine energy here. A lot of passion. Um, I feel like you're going towards a happy relationship, but I feel like it's more than that. I feel like you're going towards happiness as a whole. Okay, Scorpio? And anybody that tries to get in the way of that, like, they're just not. You're just going to sail right out of their control. Right? We have the Seven of Cups here. Options, illusions. You know? But I feel like you're weighing your options and you're not taking shit lightly. These are all relics that this person has. Looks like all relics, all things that are of something, you know, of some type of purpose here that this person can use along their journey. And I feel like just that you're using this as a stepping stone, OK, to get over sadness, to get over toxicities. You know, I see it as a good thing. Love is still here, though, and it will come in. But it's like it comes in accompanied with this happiness. You know, I feel like it's not the forefront. Although it is something that's very emotionally fulfilling for you, you know, I feel like you have to walk away from something as well. Because the seven of cups plus the ace of cups, that's eight cups. So you had to walk away from something emotionally draining to you at the same time. Okay. With the ten of swords here. Could have been a family dynamic. Could have been like a family dynamic that was draining you. This could be somebody that, you know, maybe you had kids with. And they just wasn't in the know of your finances or how you get your money and your stability. And they just all up in your shit trying to piggyback off that, okay? Others of you all, it's just a new person. And they could be even planning to have a life with you. You know, it's something about infiltrating your home. Once they get in your home, they all in your business, they all in your shit. You know, so be mindful of that. Bottom deck is the page of swords. You definitely being watched. You definitely being checked out by this person, okay? But with the six of swords here, I feel like you are moving to more pleasant thoughts mentally, okay? And that doesn't concern them. With the four of swords, you definitely falling back from them. You know, with the strength card here, there is an energy of you, ooh, of you facing a heartbreak. I feel like not necessarily this breaks your heart, but I feel like just the pursuit of happiness breaks your heart. And, you know, you like, I'm going to just sit back on this clarity that, you know, although it hurts, I have the strength and perseverance to move forward and to get the things that I want in life. You know, with the Six of Pentacles, really going towards an equal give and take. Scorpio, I'm going to say this. It's a feminine energy that you still love. Okay, smash the like button if that's you. If it's somebody that you still love out there, okay? They could be a male or a female, although they're coming in in a feminine energy, okay? This is somebody that you may feel like you have to pursue if you want to deal with them, okay? That's how you're going to know who they are. Look, I feel like you're doing just that. You're going to pursue this person. I feel like this is somebody that you tried to let go of too, you know? Maybe, maybe you want more closure in this. You know, this person just looking good, smelling good. Some type of haughtiness here where you're you're noticing this person. Maybe you notice them on social media. You know, maybe you see them, you see their content or something like that. Pleasure seekers, you see the people who like drooling over them, you know, and you're studying something. You're studying hope, you're trying to keep hope alive about somebody that you still love. Wow the merchant car here you're trying to see like what could i give what could they give how would it work out 
the priest here, somebody needing to prove themselves. But look, at the same time, this is that other energy right here. This looks like that other energy. They trying to figure out how to prove themselves so that they could get you. And you trying to go in and get the other person. But you feel like it's all type of people on them. And this person, meanwhile, trying to get your attention. And like, damn, where is Scorpio attention at? Because they want your damn fortune. The bottom deck is love. This has to do with love, okay? A lot of love is your focus, you know, here. But I feel like happiness is really the main focus. But love is something that is a company, you know? And granted... Love is like the main, most important thing in reality and in the ethos, you know, um, in the ethers. But I feel like, you know, the path that you go towards this love that you're going to attain, Scorpio, it comes through happiness. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. This love comes through happiness. Salt is here about a feminine energy. About a divine feminine energy that you want to have a reunion with. I can't make it up. So, let's delve deeper. I do see black magic here, okay? Um, this option could be considering, you know, binding themselves to you in some type of way. Trying to do like a love spell to get you, you know? Somebody is very focused on getting you and what you have to offer, Scorpio, narcissist, this person could be a narcissist or they could be painting a picture that you are one. Yeah, this person is coming in as a diva. They can be trying to shoot you down, say like, oh, you're a manipulator, you're a narcissist, this type and next. But look, this person is really the fucking narcissist because they want, they used to the good life. They want to have this fancy living, you know, a tatted person. You could be somebody that has tattoos, Scorpio. Or this person could. Yeah, unsol unwanted opinions. People giving you unsolicited advice or feedback. So I feel like a tatted person could be in your energy that's giving you unsolicited advice or feedback about this situation. You know, about who you should go towards, who you should drop. You know, just, uh Man, Scorpio, you got some people around you that you just, you may end up cutting off. That's what I see. Somebody here always drunk. So that's how you're going to know who the tatted person is that's giving their opinion all the damn time. They always drunk. And you're like, damn, how could they even give me any type of advice? You're making a U-turn here. Changing your mind about where you want to go, what you want to do, what you where you want to be. Some type of connection here was strictly sexual. Or... This drunk person was telling you, like, well, just keep them both around. Sleep with both of them. And you're like, no, that don't sound like happiness. You know, that's what I'm saying. You're guided to love through happiness. What you deem is happiness. You know? Childhood fear. Someone is traumatized by their childhood. Let's delve deeper into that. Why are you obsessed with me? This is the person. The person that is obsessed with you trying to get all in your business, trying to... um like, get a piece of the pie, all right? A piece of your finances, your stability become codependent upon you. They have childhood fears. They could have been abandoned as a child, you know? Um, they could be prying on... They, this is somebody that could be trying to have, like, a trauma bond with you. This is somebody that, you know, is trying to bond with you over a trauma, you know, like maybe you went through similar childhood experiences and this person is trying to like be codependent upon you above that and know that they're coming point blank, period, a love interest or angry person or new love. That's what I'm telling you. A person you either already dealt with somebody that's new, you know, or just somebody that's bitter and mad. Know that that's who's coming towards you or they already have, all right? This could have been a strictly sexual connection for you, you know? Somebody is tapping into your energies because of that, because of this bad deal. So it's like you may have some type of soul tie and there go that black magic coming out. So it's like you dealt with somebody that's becoming obsessed over you and they could be trying to tie themselves to you, all right? I want to say this personally, don't be afraid of anything because God gave you free will. All right. And as long as you are not out here weak minded, no type of magic, you know, no type of binding, no type of black magic couldn't affect you. Always remember that. OK, 
But somebody here is being very disrespectful. Okay? And they are not clearly visible. This person is being inconspicuous. All right? So be mindful of that. So, damn, this pops right out for you. Here's this connection. Here's this marriage connection. Four wands and a sun. But what am I telling you? Because of happiness. All right? Happiness and this connection, it goes hand in hand for you, okay? You got a lot to celebrate coming up. And a time of great joy and success is coming up for you, Scorpio, all right? Equal give and take, the good that you do, it comes back to you, okay? We also have wise counsel and we have the five of wands here. So this is that hierophant energy, that Taurus energy where you're bullheaded. Once your mind gets stuck and it's made up, it's stuck. Once it's up, it's stuck, right? And conflicts that are caused by others and opposing opinions, you're going to walk away from that. Okay? You're going to see it as smoke and mirrors, right? With, I, To be more frankly, you're going to run away from it. Okay? Just as quickly as you're there, you're going to move around. Okay? I see a lot of change quickly. Okay? Um, you have studied something here. Okay? Um, I feel like an opportunity presents itself and you take it. All right. And this opportunity has to do with a two of cups situation. Love. Wow. Page of wands. So look, you about to take some type of, um, you're about to reach out to someone. I, I see two love interests, either somebody you once dealt with, you know, or like I said, the person that trying to use you. And then you had another other person that you feel like it's a lot of people pursuing them. Okay, that's the person you're going towards. Okay, could have been someone you dealt with before as well, right? But I see you going towards them, and I see you just offering out love to them, and I see it working out, especially with that four of wands, with the sun card, and with the six of pentacles. The good that you do, the good that you give comes back to you, and not only that, what's for you will always come to you and will always be made available to you, Scorpio. And that's what we're talking about right here. What's meant for you will always find you, okay? So if this message resonated with you, smash that like button. If you want to see more reads like this one, smash that like button. Thanks for your love and support as always. Until then, peace and love.